Hello and welcome back to the BE iLab channel. Today, we're exploring the fascinating world of data manipulation using the Pandas library in Python. Pandas is an essential toolkit for data scientists, offering robust data structures and functions for efficient data analysis and manipulation. Before we start our exploration, make sure you have Pandas installed. You can install it using pip install pandas. If you're using Anaconda with Jupyter Notebook, pandas usually comes bundled, and there's no need for a separate installation. Now that we're all set, let's embark on this exciting journey into the power of pandas. Now, let's get hands-on with creating data using pandas. In pandas, we primarily work with two key components, the data frame and the series. Imagine a data frame as a virtual table, similar to a spreadsheet or a table in a database. It offers a structured way to organize and manage data. In our code snippet, we begin by importing the pandas library using import pandas as pd. Following this, we define a simple dataset using a Python dictionary. The keys of the dictionary, name, sex, age, address, become the column names of the data frame. The corresponding values form the data in each respective column. Finally, to create the data frame we use the pd.dataFrame. The index parameter allows us to assign custom indices to the rows. The resulting data frame, displayed by df, emerges as a structured table. Each row embodies an individual, and each column signifies a specific attribute like name, sex, age, or address. Now, Let's shift our attention to the series, another fundamental component within the pandas package. Think of a series as a single column in a data frame. It's a one-dimensional labeled array, essentially a simplified version of a data frame with a focus on a specific attribute. In this code snippet, we define a series named ages with a list of ages. The name parameter allows us to label the series. Moving forward, Let's explore the crucial skill of reading data into a pandas data frame. While manually creating data frames or series is beneficial, real-world scenarios often involve dealing with existing data. Data comes in various forms and formats, and one of the most common is the CSV file. In our code snippet, we are using the pd read underscore csv function to read data from a CSV file and convert it into a data frame. Here's a simplified illustration. In this example, we use the pd read underscore csv function, which is pandas way of reading data from a csv file. The argument passed to the function is the name of the csv file containing our dataset. After importing data, it's essential to grasp its characteristics. Here are two useful commands. The data dot shape reveals the dimensions of our data frame, providing the number of rows and columns. Moreover, the data.columns returns a list of column names in our data frame. Now, let's take a closer look at our data with some handy commands. Data.head shows the first five rows, giving us a quick overview. To see more details, we can use data.head10 for the first 10 rows. If we're curious about the end, the data.tail reveals the last five rows. These commands are like a snapshot, helping us quickly understand what our dataset looks like. Now, Let's explore how we can save our modified data back to files. In pandas, we have two powerful functions for this. First, data to underscore CSV saves our data frame as a CSV file named test.csv. The index equals true includes the row indices. Secondly, the data to underscore Excel exports the data frame to an Excel file named test.xlsx, excluding the row indices. Thank you for being a part of this tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment. Remember to show your support by liking and subscribing to our channel. You can also explore code examples on our GitHub page. Stay tuned for our next video, where we'll explore more foundational concepts in Pandas. Looking forward to seeing you there.